All right. And to close out the day, we have Yi Zhao competing independently from Davis, California. Let's give him a big round of applause. And if we're going to have our judges make their way to the competition area, Yi, you can take it from here. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Time. Hello, judges. My name is Yi. Um, I'm an agronomy uh, who advise farmer to grow their crops. So I'm fascinated by the science behind the coffee flavor, which we commonly use the term terroir to describe different coffee tastes under different environment. So the choice of variety is significant for producer and future sensory quality. So the coffee I'm using today is from China. So coffee Arabica first introduced to China in 1892. While the coffee leaf rust destroyed most of the production, the farmer had no choice but switch from uh, Tivica bourbon to the Kaimor for better disease resistance. So, Kaimor probably doesn't match the current um, tasting preference, uh, but I believe it can still make a positive contribution to the profile, to the flavor profile. Also, additionally, thousands of farmers uh, depend on this variety for their subsistence. So I think uh, we should not be discarded. So today, I'm here trying to present the uniqueness of this cardimore to you and hopefully could generate more feedback um, for future variety improvement. So this Karimor is from Yunnan province. Uh, it, a good cup of coffee is a comprehensive result from production to post-harvest processing. So this coffee, coffee takes advantage of undulating terrain of Yunnan province, 1,200 altitude farm location to maximize the sugar accumulation. 
So I will use soft to describe my espresso as not a single flavor attract all of your attention. Everything come together harmoniously, medium citrusy, chocolate, chocolate cake, and um, right amount of bitterness. And pleasantly, you probably could taste the coconut sugar at the end of the drink. All right, let's give a big round of applause for Yee's espresso drinks. So I hope you're enjoying a wonderful drink. <laughs> so now um, let's move to my milk beverage. So I remember two years ago when I first, uh, uh, not first, when I walk into a coffee shop, um, the barista asked me what I want, what I want. And then I just simply, I don't have any um, professional lexicon to describe my taste preference. I just simply say I want something um, not very sweet but can still taste the caffeine. And then uh, she turned out made me a latte and it's totally my taste. So at that moment I just realized um, communication could be easy as long as we try to use some common language to describe our sensation. So today, I'm trying to uh, replicate that milk beverage um, and then hopefully could connecting our sensation by this cup of uh, milk beverage.
So my I used one over five for my milk beverage. A little bit of a little bit extraction of the espresso turned the coconut sugar into caramel.
So finally, for my signature drink, um, coffee and tea are two popular beverage worldwide. And then today, I'm trying to bring more flavor from tea to the uh, to my signature drink. The first tea I'm gonna using I'm gonna use is a black currant tea, which increases more fruitness into the drink. The second tea I'm using is a jasmine almond tea. In addition to the flora of jasmine, it will bring the nutty flavor. The third one is the Jing Mai, Jing Mai Chai, uh, which gives some um, toasty flavor to the final drink. And uh, because tea has a lot of phenolic and tanning, so you will have a very dry mouthfeel. So I will choose to use a uh, honey water to uh, give you a little bit of sweetness so that the mouthfeel won't be that unpleasant. Hope you can you will enjoy the drink. All right, everyone, let's give a big round of applause for Yi Zhao from Davis, California. Hmm? Oh, I cannot. If you want to come right over here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Nerves are over with. You got to the other side, which lovely routine, by the way. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone uh, you would like to thank? Yeah. Um, I, I want to especially thank my friend uh, who is in seat there because um, I'm pretty new to to being a barista and he helped me roast the beans for me and then teach me a lot of things about the uh, competition. And a lot of us know that entryway into like competing for the first time and learning to be a barista is always a little nerve wracking. So let's give another like, big round of applause for you as well. Thank you. Awesome. Feeling good? Awesome. Cool. All right, so just a little heads up, y'all, that the expo floor is closed. So if you are looking to exit, uh, the exit is going to be uh, right over to your left. And would also like to say that uh, thank you to everyone for watching day one of the 2022, 2022 U.S. Coffee Championships. I'll just uh, roll that back for a second for y'all. <laughs> so, again, I'd like to say thank you to everyone watching day one of the 2022 U.S. Coffee Championships. Huge thanks to you Pacific Barista Series for making it possible for all our friends and family at home to watch the action. So, don't take off just yet. 
shortly uh, on this stage, we will be announcing the 12 competitors who will be moving on to tomorrow's semifinal round. And we will be one step clover, closer to the coveted U.S. Barista Championship title. So stick around, and we will have those announcements shortly. Thank you. It's not just the pride that you have in, in doing something that you're really passionate about. Is if other people are able to see it the way that you see it. What we're trying to do is to engage in that thought process of intention. <laughs> 